Jakari Jackson reporting from Albuquerque, New Mexico, outside of the Trump rally. Trump is set to speak in about an hour from now. Uh, but as you can see right now, there's a large group of anti-Trump demonstrators. Let's go ahead and take a walk down here and see if maybe we can uh, get a word with a few of the folks who came out here. Uh, now, this is the anti-Trump side. There is a pro-Trump side, which is back that way. We'll try to get over there in just a little bit. Let's get a little bit closer here and see if we can take a look at some of the signs. So this guy has a very sensational sign. Sir, do you mind if I ask you what brought you out here today? Um, the First Amendment right to protest. All right, we'll take a look at your shirt and uh, at your sign here. So you got the F Trump shirt and also Trump for KKK or KKK for Trump. Uh, what is what is your beef with Donald Trump? Well, number one, I think he's a manifestation of the media. I mean, we have a reality star that's be, that's uh, running for president. I mean, who's next, Kim Kardashian or Justin Bieber? That's pathetic. I mean, it really is. And I mean, he, he says anything just to pander to any crowd. So he's, he's at Liberty University and he quotes Corinthians 2 or whatever, you know? So, I mean. As far as policy, what's his policies that you can't get with? Um, well, I know that he'd revert back to the essence of tax cuts. Okay, for the wealthiest, um, cutting trade embargoes, um, you know, may, shipping out jobs. I mean, he says he's for American jobs, but all of his clothes that's made is made in China. So he's a hypocrite when it comes to that standpoint, you know, so. All right. Anything else? Oh, no, I, there's plenty of other things. His xenophobia, his racism, overt racism, and not being able to walk away from uh, Donald, uh, I mean, from uh, David Duke or any other white supremacist that endorse him, you know. You know, so I mean, and the violence that's taking place at his at his rallies, you know. Well, sir, I'm, I will challenge you on that point. We've seen people like Hillary be endorsed by uh, Klan members as well. I, mean, I, I agree with that. Th those are just trolls. I mean, really. I mean, okay. So look at okay. So if you look at the the, the history of because I teach history. Okay. So conservatives oppose the Declaration of Independence because they don't want to give up their power. Okay. <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, so, but you look at the civil rights area, who was opposed to it? Conservatives. Who opposed to free and slavery? Conservatives. Who was opposed to allowing women to vote? Conservatives. Okay. So, paying for, uh, you know, public education. They try to dismantle public education. I'm a public school and public education teacher, and they're constantly trying to dismantle it. They've tried the idea of vouchers. Now they have charter schools. All it does is hurt education. I mean, it's, they go, and I teach this in my world history class. It's, it's the movie Bugs Life. It's the ants versus the grasshoppers. The problem is, is you get people to think that they're grasshoppers, but they're really ants. Okay. And I, I, I like some of the things that you guys do on InfoWars, but I think some of it can be a little bit lunacy, you know, so I, I listen to some of the things that you do and I, and I have believe, I'm, I believe a lot of the things, but when it comes, when in, at the end of the day, Hillary's going to appoint a Supreme Court justice, possibly up to four, that's better for America, better for workers, better for my son, better for the air that they, that they breathe, the water that they drink. Okay, so that in, in the end, okay, yes, President Obama's gone, but he appointed two Supreme Court justices. He's going to recess appoint a third to protect Hillary. He really is. So, I mean, so. <laughs>
guys hit me with a freaking rock. <coughs> there he ran. Now I got the tear gas in my lungs. the Trump event it just wrapped up Murray wrapped up a while ago but probably about 20 minutes ago they shot the tear gas off and we talked to this gentleman and he wants to tell us his thoughts on it the only reason that they started shooting tear gas at us is because an old man was pushed by a police officer I asked let him pass let him walk away he had a cane no he hits him in the face for no apparent reason when Donald Trump showed up look how heavy and hate he brought here I stand for people our armed services our men and women in uniform we're supposed to stand united, but he brings division. He brings hatred. We're supposed to stand united, aren't we? Aren't we all Americans? Our, our, our liberty is supposed to be uphold. Our constitution is supposed to be held in the strongest upset. My bad. Um, I'm gonna challenge you here for one second. I'm not a Donald Trump supporter at all, but I'm, I'm gonna say this to you. Donald Trump didn't set any trash can fires. Donald Trump didn't throw any rocks. All the other stuff you've seen out here, he did not do that. The reason that, yeah, the start, fires started earlier. But when that man was attacked by a police officer, oh. that incited violence. Obviously, they brought it when they attacked that innocent man. Now, what the f is that supposed to be about? My best. Excuse my language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you know, look it. We're supposed to protect foreign and domestic. But they're domestic here. They're bringing domestic terrorism to us. We're all Americans. We have the free to stand where we please. We're not sheep. We're not slaves. Oh, my bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know, we're supposed to stand. Look at what they're trying to do. They're trying to force us on our knees. American was founded on revolution. We're founded on immigrants. George Washington, we should take example. Abraham Lincoln, Patton, they fought for this country, didn't they? Didn't they do any good? We must stand. We must stand united. And I'm not sure how, if at all, the anti-Trump demonstrators helped their cause tonight. I'm by no means a Donald Trump supporter, but if I was to watch a video of people yelling and cussing at old women and little kids, uh, I, that's not somebody I would want to team up with. Just, just vile rhetoric. And people talk about Donald Trump's racism, and yeah, he said a bunch of controversial stuff, but I've seen people just say the most hateful things, um, whether it's uh, Hispanic to Hispanic, or white to white, uh, whatever else. Just attacking people on their physical appearance, just, you know, all manner of childishness, you know, like being in a 13-year-old or a 13-year-old uh, lunchroom with a bunch of kids, you know. That's pretty much how it was. And I have to say, I did not see any Donald Trump supporters acting vile and vicious. Everybody I talked to was very polite. Even if I didn't agree with all their policies, uh, they could explain why they felt that way in a very eloquent manner. And I found some uh, anti-Trump people that could do so as well, but the number of Trump people that could speak their mind eloquently was much higher than the people I spoke to who opposed Donald Trump, they just yelled and cursed and, you know, F this and, you know, you do that with your mother, all that kind of stuff. It's a little crazy, but this is what happens when Donald Trump comes to a Latin nation. But also, we're in New Mexico, so let's get this straight. We're not in Mexico. We're New Mexico. We're above Mexico. 